<sighs> hey guys, my name is Fuzzy Cub. And welcome back to Vault Hunters. I'm a sad bear. You see, I've just run three architect vaults with Cory, and we got almost nothing. I mean, a normal vault would be so much better. We used up almost all of our inscription pieces. Uh, we used quite a lot of our catalysts. It, 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 it's just making me a little bit angry and I, I, I feel myself turning into a Karen. I want to speak to the vault manager. Dial this number. Hello, you're true to the Vault Hunters helpline. Heidi speaking, how may I help you? I want to speak to your manager. Of course, madam. Uh, can I- Excuse me, it is miss to you. Um, okay. I demand to speak to your manager. Yeah, I am the Vault Manager today, so how may I help you? I don't care what your name is. Don't you know who I am? I just did three architect vaults and I demand a refund. A refund? I was not happy. I demand a refund. And uh, why exactly weren't you happy? I got no loot. The rooms were mostly bedrock. And naturally, the customer's always right. That's not how this works, madam. It's miss. Miss. You know what? I demand you remake the game completely. I end up a customer and I demand a total remake from scratch. But ma- Miss, we can't do that. But I want it now! Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll pass it on to the development team. Now, was that too hard to do? Oh my God, you just cannot get the help these days. And can I help you with anything else to- No. Rude. <sighs> that made me work up an appetite. Ooh, wow. My blood sugar must have been really low there. I kind of blacked out for a minute. But anyway, welcome back to update nine of Vault Hunters 3rd Edition. So all joking aside, I just want to say big thank you to Eskal and all the development team. You guys have done a amazing, a amazing job on a new update from what I've seen so far. The only problem is I now have to go through the 58 skill points and the 11 expertise points to decide where I want to put all these skills in. And there's so much new stuff. <laughs> let's, uh, let's work through it together. And the first new thing I want to look at is the... Quest book. Now I believe this is actually done by the better questing mod, but it looks a little bit different to me. I, I, I like playing mod packs that have like a questing book, but this one, I suppose you just customized it to uh, Vault Hunters. But we'll get back to that later. Let's uh, concentrate on our skills because this is going to be a journey. So as you can see, there are a few new skills. And I have 58 skill points to use up and I just don't know where to start. So let us think logically. What type of player am I? I like to have a lot of health. I like to be comfortable. I like not to be in danger all the time. Corey, your playstyle scares the hell out of me. So it kind of makes sense for me to take, first of all, heal. I think I'm going to go up to six in heal. Or should I go, do you know what? I'm gonna fully max out heal. A healthy fuzzy is a happy fuzzy. Now let's take a look at the other ones. We have vein miner, which of course, I will take two in Vein Miner. That gives us 16 blocks. And I have noticed there's no more Vein Miner fortune. I think that has moved to here. Yes, this is in, in the fortune, but we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. Next, Ghost Walk. I, I am not sure if I want to use Ghost Walk anymore. I think I'm going to give it a miss this time. Dash, of course, we put two into Dash, maybe even three. We'll come back and see at the end because uh, dashing through the vaults on a one horse open sleigh is how we do things. What else we have? We have Nova. I, I was never really a big fan of Nova, but actually looking at Cory play, Nova might come in handy. I'm not quite sure. Rampage, I do remember in 116, Rampage was completely and utterly overpowered. And I think the dev team nerfed it based on how we played. 
Uh, good old C Dubs and his Shaman Rampage. So yeah, we won't we won't be going into Rampage at the moment. Mega Jump, I, I haven't used it all season, so I don't really care. Shell, let's see. What active shell will give you hardened skin, giving you a chance to stun mobs when getting hit? So this is more like a porcupine build. Like, you don't mind taking damage or hits because... Oh, actually, yeah, there we go. There's a porcupine and quill. Porcupine, increased thorns damage, gives you durability resistance. Okay. Shell quill, thorns damage and chain your thorns. Interesting. Totem Rejuvenation. Creates a totem near you that heals all players. This kind of like the healer build in a D&D &D game. What else we have? We have Hatred. Creates a totem near you that does a minimum percentage of damage to all mobs in range. Okay. I wonder, what is the range? Range. Damage is only 10%. Radius is 5.5. So it's not terrible. And it doesn't have that much mana cost. Uh, it's cool down as a minute. I assume you can get that down a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I'm not so sure about that one either. Empower. Gives you an aura of movement speed, affecting you and other players within range. So, this will make you zoom zoom. And ice armor. Gives you an aura of frost, slowing down mobs with radius around you while active. This makes you no zoom zoom. Now, I've heard a lot about this javelin in one. Um, I'm not too sure I have the aim or the brain power to compute when to use this. So I'm going to be controversial and just not use Javelin. I know, Iskal, you've been championing this, uh, this talent for a while, but I, I, I can't. I, I, I'm just not the right bear for it. Hunter? Yes. Yes, we need to have Hunter and we need to have it on Observer. Though there is Gilded, Living, Ornate and Coins. But most of the time we're going to be looking for Monoliths or Obelisks or, or Lodestones. So I think we're going to put five into that. Two, three, four, five. I think that's what we had previously. Smite. While active, Smite will periodically strike a mob within range, dealing a percentage of your total damage. Ooh, interesting. 7.5 radius, mana per second, so it's a toggleable skill. Hmm. Fuzzy will probably forget to turn that off and completely drain his entire mana reserve, so probably not the right one for me. Smite Arcan will turn you into a spark, making a mob physically touch you. Basically, you turn into a battery. And Smite Thunderstorm. While active, Smite Thunderstorm will rain down lightning bolts, striking mobs within a range, dealing you dealing a percentage of your damage. Damage is 125%. Mana per second, 5. Cooldown, 300 seconds. Wow. That's a, that's a lot. I'm not sure about that either. You know, like, let's just go through all of the skills, and then we can, like, go back and see if you want to spec into some other thing. Taunt. Taunt's mob around you? No, no, no. Fuzzy, Fuzzy doesn't want any mobs coming near him. Fuzzy wants mobs to stay away. Stonefall? Nah, I'm fine. I, I've, I've done without Stonefall this entire season. Mana Shield? I just do not get this. I don't understand why you don't run away and instead and you, like, you just take the damage. I, I don't get it. Summon Eternal? I want to get because I actually have my Eternal, and I am going to learn it, but I'm not going to hotkey it, because apparently there's a bug in this version where if you summon an Eternal in a vault, it crashes the server. So um, I, I don't want to be responsible for crashing the server by button mashing. So we have some Eternal, but we're not going to map it onto any buttons. Execute. Uh, this only kind of really works on a single boss, but because um, the bosses nowadays are multiple bosses on multiple obelisks. I, I I don't think it's an actual viable build for me. And Farmer, uh, Farmer died in 116. No one uses Farmer anymore. Which leaves us 39 unspent skill points for uh, this page. So, speed. Increases your movement speed. Yeah, of course. Every level of speed increases movement speed by 20%, by, and then it's a total of 80%, which makes you almost twice as fast. The cost is 16. Do I want to be fast boy? Hmm. Let's let's do some others first and see. Haste, I want haste too, because then I can mine stuff in the overworld, no problem. I think in, in future we might go into haste three, but not at the moment. Strength, every level of strength affects your increased base damage by three. Oh, it's only one, yeah. One, two, three, four, take my points. So I think we're gonna do, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna do 
full speed. So full speed, full strength, and almost the same with haste. Leaving the rest of this stuff here. Stone skin. Hmm. I don't think we're a stone skin type of bear. Nucleus cannot be unlocked alongside days. Cannot be alongside nucleus. Killing a stunned mob has a chance of causing an explosion reaction. Cast a Nova. I see, so this is linked to Nova. This is linked to Frost Nova. And this is linked to Poison Nova. Now because I haven't specced into Nova yet, I don't really know if I want to use these or not. Why? Why is this so difficult? Last stand. Cannot be locked. Uh, Berserker? No, no, this is a Cory build. Depleted, that is definitely a Cory build. Sorcery. Gain extra mana regeneration while at full health. Ooh, interesting. I quite like being at full health all the time, so I think it makes sense for me to put a few levels into that. Witchery. Gain extra soul chance while killing mobs with full mana. I very often do not have full mana, so this is gonna be wasted on me. Prudent gives you a chance to not consume a potion charge when drinking any vault potions. Now we haven't actually talked about vault potions yet. In this game, we have something now called a vault potion, obviously. And there seems to be two different versions of the potion. You have the lesser vial, which seems to be quite easy to make. And I think this recharges as you use it in the vault. Yeah, every 150 mobs you kill, it recharges. And then you have this one, which is exponentially more expensive, but it heals 10 hit points instead of four. Hmm. I believe these guys are just uh, craftable as normal, but these guys need, yes, yeah, Spruz research, which is one of the new research things. So much, so much new stuff. Dev team, you really have outdone yourselves. Okay, back to the skills. Next thing we have are masteries. Now, in this version, we have a lot more mobs. I believe there's over 40 new mobs added. So in the vault, we're gonna see a lot more illagers and nether mobs and undead mobs and spiders. So I believe you have like 10 points to spend between all of these, six between these and six between these. Um, We're getting kind of low on skill points at the moment. I think I would rather concentrate on a broad damage rather than a specific damage. And the way I think this guy works is you have a suffix or a prefix that is lucky hit on a weapon and you can add different attributes to that lucky hit. So fatal strike increases damage by 100, 150 or 200. Mana steal is like leech, but for mana you have life leech, which just takes health back. So it leeches back part of your health. So it's 10%, 20% or 30% of the mob's health, I believe. And then you have cleave, which is the new chaining. So let me see. This is a tough one. I think with fully maxed out heal, and then carrying around a potion, we'll probably skip out on leech life. Cleave, hmm, this is a tough one. Or do I just wanna go for straight out damage? Choices, choices. Okay, let's go back to the skills page and see what we want here. I think I'm going to spec into Nova. I think I'm just going to stay with Nova. Cool down 20, let me see. If I'm, I'm just on tier one, the cooldown is 20, mana cost is 30, radius 2.5, damage 80. The next level, the cooldown goes, is, cooldown is the same. Mana is up by three points. The radius is boosted by an entire block surrounding you and the damage goes up to 90%. So I think we're gonna put two more into that, which will be a mana cost of 36, radius four, damage 100% and cool down by 20. And I believe it's a damage percentage of your weapon. So whatever weapon you're holding when you have man or when you have Nova active is the percent damage. So you will do a 100% damage of your weapon within a four radius to all the mobs around you. I'm quickly popping back over to here. Killing a stunned mob has a chance of causing an explosive reaction, casting a Nova of your level around the killed mob. So this sounds like it effectively turns a mob into a bomb and then we don't have frost or toxic. So this or this one deals increased damage to a stunned mob. Don't know how to stun a mob. I'm just gonna leave this for now. Eventually when we build up more skill points, we'll, we'll go into that. Oh, I missed this one earlier. Alchemist, extends the duration of a vault potion effect. I think with our healing, it's probably gonna be enough just to have a standardized potion. 
You know what? I'm gonna put another two into Nova, one more into Dash, one more into Observer. Although if I max out Observer, it will help me in the long run. So I'll do that. I have four points left. I'm gonna spec into this one and Thunderstorm. This should help give 250% damage all around me for four seconds with a cooldown of a minute. And this is probably gonna help me with Guardians. Because the uh, infinite water bucket has been nerfed in this, um, mobs no longer are washed away by the infinite water bucket. And, and I kind of think our SMP, mainly C-dubs, sorry, is um, responsible for the devs nerfing that. But uh, you know, it, it, it was the right thing to do. It, it was really easy to kill them when you had a water bucket. Now we have one more skill point. What do we do with one more skill point? Should we take one more vein miner? For good luck? Yeah, why not? Okay, now, onto this page. These are completely new. These are called expertise points, and you see I have 11 of them. I think what I read was every five levels you get an expertise point. Now these can be regretted, but this thing is what you need to craft to get rid of one of those points. And that is four Omega Pogs, which is like, hundreds and hundreds of, of pog gems. So we're gonna have to think really, really hard about what we're gonna use this on. Obviously, we're gonna put two straight into fortunate because that gives you two extra fortuning levels and uh, fortune five would be really, really good for fortuning ores. When applying a normal catalyst to a crystal, there is a chance to not apply a negative modifier. I don't really do catalysts an awful lot. I mean, I run the catalyst faults, but that's mainly because everyone else in the server does it. So I don't think I'm gonna actually even spec into infuser. Gain a resistance to crystal instability when modifying a crystal by lowering the chance for the crystal to become unstable. Again, not really a thing for me. Trinketer, gain a chance not to consume a use of your trinket when entering a vault. Well, I'm really unlucky, so I don't actually get trinkets, so I'm not gonna spec into that either. Divine, gain a base level of affinity for all vault gods. 45, yeah, okay, all three of them. I didn't even need to see the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Unbreaking. Passively adds a chance of not losing durability. In this game, you change weapons and your, your armor so quickly, there's no point of even trying to make sure that they're unbreakable. I mean, unbreaking three kind of keeps them going for as long as they need to go for. Bartering. Gain a cost reduction on items sold and shopping pencils inside a vault. I always forget to bring gold and platinum with me, so that's a waste on me. Angel, grants the ability to craft an angel block. Create a flight. I honestly don't care about creative flight. I know a lot of people on the uh, SMP were very excited about this, but uh, it, it, it'll just be wasted on me. I like, I like this, this bear likes to be on the ground. Artisan. Gain a chance to not consume crafting potential when re-rolling vault gear in the artisan station. You know what? I do like making my own vault gear. I think I'm probably one of the only people on the SMP that makes their own vault gear instead of just running vaults and, and getting it out of the black market. So I've got to learn one of those. Experience. <sighs> I mean, we have, we have so many experience farms. I don't see the point in needing 1,500% experience. Lucky altar, gain a chance to have the altar lucky roll. When crafting a crystal, lowering the cost of the crystal by 90%. At this stage, we have just so much stuff to go into a crystal. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't think I need to even bother with that. And lastly, Become a master at bounty hunting. Reduce the bounty wait period to 30 minutes. Ooh, yes, nice. Reduce the abandoned penalty to 30 minutes. Oh, even better. Have two active, yeah, take, take my points. Take my points. Yep, all of that, take all of them. You know what, I'm gonna put one in there. And then I'm, I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave my one unspent uh, point just for later on in case I uh, change my mind and want to do something else. Phew, so, uh. That actually took about an hour in real life. I, I, I should be able to edit it down to about 20 minutes, but um, wow, that, that, was, that was a lot of thinking. So let us move on to the quest book. So the quest book, as I kind of see it, is sort of like a guiding kind of progression-based thing. It, it basically tells you what you have to do to get into the vaults and then gives you ideas and things that, that, that make the game a very logically progressing game. For example, the first thing you need to do is click this to get your vault stake. 
Nice. So the first thing is, the first step to starting on your Vault Hunter's journey is finding chromatic iron. This can be found at the deepest parts of your world, Y minus 30. Or it can be found in your refined storage system. Yoink. Complete. Mine 16 Vault Stone. Do I just need to have it in my inventory? Or does it actually want me to mine it? I think it actually wants me to mine it. Nice. Complete. Vault rocks. The chip vault rocks you found are used to craft a vault rock, which is the base to blah 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 blah. So basically, this is a uh, this is pretty standard up until better enchanting. So let me just get up to this one, and we'll pop right back in. Okay, and welcome back. Here we are at the better enchanting. Now we all know that in the third edition of Vault Hunters, enchants, well, vanilla enchants in particular, they're not really needed. I mean that they're they're disabled in most cases apart from I believe mending, fortune, unbreaking and most of the like the depth strider blah 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 all, all, all the utility ones but stuff like protections, blast protection, fire protection, frost walker all that stuff gone. Not needed anymore. Banned. And this thing here is going to replace basically books. So what it wants us to do is acquire a, a vault enchanter. So let's see Vault in Enchanter. Ooh, that is a cool looking block. And there we go, one Vault Enchanter. And we get a little bit of experience for that. And let's pop this here. So for demonstration purposes, let's make a diamond. Okay, let's use this diamond hoe. When you put this in, you get actually a little nice uh, rotating item on top of it as well, which is nice. Basically, it will list all of the enchantments possible on this. Now I do notice that it only shows the highest pop possible enchantment. I can't really think of a, a reason to not have the highest enchantment, but maybe it would be nice to be able to toggle that down or up. Just just a little uh just a little thing to think about, devs. And as long as you have emeralds, the tool, and some XP, you can enchant. You can enchant for just five emeralds. So no more getting books, no more having to use anvils, just come up to here and boop, enchant, 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 enchant. And there we go, we have a super hoe. I think the only one that this will negatively affect will be uh, Sturcat because Sturcat has a bookshop and we don't need books anymore. So I hope you're happy, dev team. You've put Sturcat out of business. Okay, so moving on to better health potions. Vault potions are an out of combat alternative to the healing ability which we already have fully unlocked, but potions will be a, a good extra. They are the only type of potion that doesn't anger Valara inside the vaults, which reduces healing efficiency by 20% each potion to a maximum of 80%. So if you use regular potions in the vault, basically every time you use them, it will de deduct 20% of its efficiency. So if it did five hearts of healing, every subsequent heal will give you 20% less. So it goes to five, four, three, two, all the way down to 80%, which is just two hearts per potion. So basically all we have to do is craft a vial. Boop and boop, vial. Oh great, another thing that we need to bring on the hopper. We collect our very important ender pearl. <laughs> Collecting soul shards. Underliving mobs inside the vault will award the player soul shards. We know this already. Just pick up our shard pouch and get this over with. Nice. The next thing it wants to do is build yourself a vault portal with any assortment of vault stone. I, I, I think I've, um, I think I've done that, but I'll just build a small one just in case. Uh, let's build a vault portal right beside the vault portal we've already built. I wonder, does it want me to open it? Build yourself a vault portal with any assortment of vault stones in a similar fashion to another portal. Once the portal is built, then you can right-click your vault crystal. Aha! It wants me to make a portal. But I have one open already. There. You happy? Are you happy? Why aren't you happy? Apparently, it doesn't like the shape of my portal. <sighs> is this what you want? Is this what you want? What? am I doing wrong? So, um, apparently, Fuzzy's just a little bit dumb and um, you have to actually go into the vault portal. So I now have three separate vaults open around the server and 
I think I'm just going to ask people if they want to do a vault uh, with an idiot. Good day, Lord Fuzzington. Hello, Pimporp. <laughs> Come on, look at look at that suit. You're just missing a cane. <laughs> I, that's all I need. Also, <laughs> good lord, there's a lot of crates. Yeah, yeah we're just going to ignore them. Nobody can see them. Okay. They don't exist yet. What crate? What? Yeah, exactly. This is going to be my first update nine vault. I'm still using old tools. I'm still using old armor. I have no idea what's going to go on. The only new thing I have is this file and Nova. I, I, I'm a Nova boy now. All right. Should we? Uh, should uh, we this vault and yeah. Do let it me just let me just let me just get a bit of blocks. I think we still need blocks. Ah, uh, you know, I still I use my waypoints, but you know. <laughs> okay. Go. You ready? Go. Ah. Go. Tell, tell me, tell me how it is. Ooh, it's okay. It's an elixir vault. Let's elixir. Elixir. Let's get in a group. Let's get in a group one. Yeah, Hold yeah. on. The vault group. Vault. Look. Ooh, look. The elixir. It's so fancy. It's a fancy. It's a fancy little border on it. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, I am so fast. I'm so happy for it. You, you, you. Fully I am down speed. speed then. Ooh. Do these still work? All right. Let's do this. Oh, and it was uh, it was instantly trapped, even though I got a 20% trap disarm. That was not great. Ooh. Uh, let's see. The, the, oh, they despawned in front of me. I am a big fan, though. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. I was, I was about to say, I was about to say, I, I love how the how they all fizzle now, so I can actually yeah. get to the loot. Um, I don't know. Um, is there so much more mobs now or something? Uh, yes. I, I think that they've upped the mobs. Ugh. Oh, this sickle. This sickle is... Oh, and there's a load Ooh. of guys down here. Starting out a new oh. uh, vault uh, journey during update 9 while you're like in later game, I don't think it's... um. I don't think this is made for it. No, I no. We, I think we need a build up, but it's fine. I don't want to lose fine. my castle. Yeah, I don't want to live in that castle either. I worked hard for that <laughs> castle. Yeah, me too. Uh, I did a dash. I, I, have, I have wooden affinity on this. Why is it not breaking? Reasons. Don't get stuck on the stairs again, P-Port, that's how you got you last time. I come help. Ooh. Oh, wow, there's a lot of mobs there. I didn't help very much. Ah, I have no mana left, that's why. I should regen hand mana faster when I have full health. Yeah, that I really am liking that thought of balance. Ooh, coins give me a lot. I am a big fan of this sickle, just going through these chests like they're butter. Would you say it's sick? Oh. I would say it's pretty sickle, actually. I keep on accidentally Explosion. Why are these children so hard to hit? There you go. These children are going to be the death of me. I keep on accidentally dashing into my uh, foes. It's going to get me killed eventually. I still haven't found out what is giving me the most elixir right now. Uh, but I'm going to move on to the next room. I'm I shall also move west. to the next room. But I shall not go west. I do, I, do, I do think we should maybe stick together because these vaults are... are pretty dangerous now okay. but it's 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 your cool it's your cool what i meant to say was i'm going to follow you and go west that's very good oh lag 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 time there we go Ooh. um also the amount of soul shards that you get it now is ridiculous yeah it's, it seems Ooh. like a lot Ooh. i fell i fell okay you hurt your you hurt your little feet i hurt my cankles <laughs> my, my cankles Ooh. One of those new lock boxes. Oh, I haven't, I haven't had one of those yet. Do they have purple particles on it for you as well? Yeah. Um, that's, is, that's, is that an elixir uh, thing? I think it's a soul thing, a soul oh, okay. thing. Ugh. I hate not having a scroll. Why don't you just get a mouse with millions of buttons like I have? That's what I was saying in my last video. I need, I need to get one, but um, I need to get a new mic first. You know what? Oh, it's never ending, is it? You always need something new. 
That, that, that is what it is. That's exactly it. It's like, ooh, I've got a string deck. That's pretty cool. Now I need something else. Now I need something else. All for the betterment of the viewer. I boomed. I am going to the next room. West, yes? Um. Weast? We, uh, no. Yes. <laughs> Creeper blow up a lot quicker, I think, as well. Yeah, they seem to have much more of a short fuse. Archer! Arlenor! I'm sure she's very nice! I cast dispersions yeah. on her character! You don't want to judge before we meet her, so. <laughs> ah, poison! Poison! Fur broken, serotonin lost, life ruined. It's the end! Okay, I see the issue. I'm I'm going to have to change my dash and my nova to buttons that aren't beside each other. <laughs> you having trouble? I'm dashing into disaster, basically. Ooh, you cool. Ah. Oh, you're a fast boy. Ah. You killed your friend. Another controlled explosion. 100%. <laughs> totally controlled. Yep, 100%. Uh, definitely. A, a mil yeah, for certain, I had it under control. Maybe. Yeah, I I think I've picked up like 500 soul shards in this in this boat already. Oh wow, okay. Bit of sweaty palm action going on there. Oh, me too. Got the palm sweats. I'm liking this Nova. Oh, hello. Is that? Are you a tier three? Does he look evil? They always look evil he when they're tier three. He's like a mummy. A mummy with a horns. Oh. Are you sure it's not an elite? <laughs> no, because there's two of them. Oh, okay. Are you sure you're they not just changed. really unlucky? <laughs> they're coming. Oh, hi. They are. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah, like, this is what I'm talking about. No, he's just... No, they're, they're falling through the sky! Oh. The sky is falling. I'm so fast that it's hard to control. <laughs> you think the Flash ever has that problem? Probably. Okay, I, I'm officially in love with Nova. How often can you drink this potion? I do not know. I am liking the constant fizzle. Me too. Not having to break things. So, yeah. Yeah. Break things. Sorry, I was in the middle of uh, a thing. You know. <laughs> speaking you know how it is. Speaking hearts. Talk, talking hard. Being entertaining while being surrounded by zombies hard. Bounty. Boys. I don't. I. I actually don't know if we're in the same room because I'm downstairs and there's a load of ore piles everywhere. No, I don't think we're in the same room. Great. You went west, didn't you? I thought I did. Because <laughs> because I'm pointing directly west and directly east is a compass saying back to the uh, the the vault portal. <laughs> I may have gone a different way. We are on eight minutes. I do not see us um. Yep. Completing nope. this vault. <laughs> Not in the slightest, no. But it's all about the friends you made along the way. Oh. You're leaving mobs to fall down. I'm not. I'm killing <laughs> them all. <laughs> I'm disposing of them correctly. In the correct way. I'm being proper. Proper? <laughs> proper? I don't even know her. I don't even know the bear. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice when people actually get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started it. We did. No, no, we, we perfected did. it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We didn't, we didn't start it, but we are now uh, synonymous for it. Yeah, we are custodians of the bit. <laughs> the dedication has been noted and will be put on our permanent records. Yeah. Hear that, Skull? We did Okay, that time I... I <laughs> Strafe! Strafe! <laughs> this is the part where you go, my hero. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 hero, yeah, yeah. Hero. <laughs> something, something hero, yeah. Zero to hero! I need a uh, hero! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Do you want to just head back? We're not going to finish this. Yeah, we're not going to finish it. Let's 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 cut our loss. As my first experience of the new vault, I quite enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's new, but this one, they, there is new themes as well. Yeah, like this one is is the same as the last, as the yeah. before the update. Yeah, yeah. So it was a bit. So it didn't throw you in in the deep end. <laughs> well, luckily, I have three portals open around the world. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> because Fuzzy can't read. No, nope, Fuzzy cannot read, but it's okay because neither can Corey. <laughs> I think me and Corey are the same person. This is really hard to control going this fast. It's like, you know when you're doing like a race car game and you gain uh -huh. speed and it's just hard to go around corners? You are zooming off. Yep. I'm going to lose you. You're going to become a dog. I wait. I'm, okay, I, I need to slow. see. Whoa. <laughs> I need to see if this works. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you may have hit the curb. I mean, we didn't die. I'd say that's a big win for our first update 9 volt. What do you think? So I know I didn't get to use some of my abilities like the, um, what's it called again? Thunder something something. I mean, look, I, did, I didn't even put smite on my, um, my list. Uh, let's just put it on 7. I, I, I really have far too many keybinds to remember. My brain's going to go... Bzzzt. I'm sure you've all seen this giant pile of crates here. These are all the crates that we got during the 24 hour live stream that we did this weekend. So uh, let's clear out our inventory and get some serotonin going. And without further ado, let's open some crates. Editing fuzzy, roll the music. like an aurora down here. Let's uh, sort this out before it um, despawns. And here is everything that we got. We have not one, but almost two complete double chests of jewels. We have not one, but three chests filled with gear. We've got a ton of vault gold and bronze and silver. Eh, just a, a smidge of gems, just a smidge. And then we got the nice box. Some ingots, some eggs, some uh, augments, and two artifacts. I'm gonna roll these right now. One, two. I am not sure if they're duplicates. They, ooh, they are not duplicates. I'll, I'll, I'll find out where they go later. But that means we now have six artifacts. Only 19 more to go until we can run the final vault. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's gonna take a few months. Next, let's roll uh, these guys. Wow. Look, we got one of the red cupcakes. Oh, in fact, we almost got an entire cupcake set. Now for one, two, three. Not bad. And the mystery boxes. Ooh, I see an echo and a pog. Maybe fuzzy luck is locking up. Maybe. So I'm going to go through these guys and I'm going to roll all of these guys. And if I get anything good, I shall show you guys. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of vault scrap. And welcome back. I have consolidated all of that stuff down into these two boxes. First of all, I kept every jewel that was under 35. Now I did get a few good ones if you want to pause the video there, but otherwise I just smelted them down into their little bits and pieces so I can make some more jewels. And these are all of the things that I thought had maybe a little bit of potential. I mean, I don't really use axes, but these are all at the higher levels and the swords are potentially good swords to use. I will off camera just kind of reroll these and use some of the focuses on them, but I don't have very much hope for them. But we did get a ton of vault scrap. We even got two fundamental focuses, some wild focuses, and even got a trap disarm uh, faceted focus, which uh, might come in handy. 
So if you liked this episode, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and tell me what do you think about all the gear here behind me? Does any have any good potential? And what sort of weapons and tools now do I need now that we are in the version 9 update? But for now, bye bye!